Yo, what's up guys? Today we are reacting to this video, which is called The Unseen Truth of India The World Needs to Know. So basically, I am the world because I'm not in India and apparently I need to know this. This video is from a channel called World in Details. If you guys want to check out the video, the link is in the description. Let's react to it. What is the first image comes to your mind when you hear the name of India? Like this, this or this, right? because your media mostly present such similar images of India in front of you. Okay, let me show you something different than your media. Well, in my case, I have seen so many videos and so many uh, movies about India and I don't have that slumdog millionaire image of India. Um, did I have it before? Maybe, I think so, yeah, I think so because of um, all the media and all of the um, portrayal of India. Um, yeah, I think I did have that impression of um, Slumdog Millionaire and all of what media um, used to talk about India. But when I first saw the movie, um, I saw a trailer of the movie Uri and I was like, no way. This looks awesome and then i started reacting to more um indian content and then the first movie i actually watched was um kgf and i'm like bro come on and then bahubali and then you know that started my journey um with india and it basically um i don't know i don't know i didn't have a a an idea of how India was. Um, of course, I come from a country which is very um, stereotyped as well. Um, people used to say that, oh, Brazil has nothing, you know, only jungles and stuff like that. So obviously I knew that India was, um, uh, you know, a big country and that it had um, metropolis and, and, you know, big cities. I, I knew that. Um, but I, I didn't know the extent of how, you know, economically powerful um, India is. But anyways, let's watch this video. And um, I'm just giving you an insight of what my um, experience was before, you know, um, getting to know India. Because um, actually, that's a funny thing that I want to know. What is your perception of my country, Brazil? Let me know in the comments. When you think of Brazil, what do you think of? Let me know your honest opinion, um, because um, I know that my country also suffers a lot of prejudice and the media only talks about football, samba, slums, city of God, violence, drugs, and all of that. So let me know your idea of Brazil in the comments. Okay, let's go. If I say this is India, will you believe me? Yes, I will. <laughs> if I say this is India, will you believe me? Although it does look like Dubai. But yeah, I, I believe you, it's India. Maybe not, because most probably you have never seen India in this way. But actually, this is real India which has been hidden from you. The slums, busy and chaotic cities you see on TV. That looks like my country. <laughs> that looks like... Um, <laughs> that looks like Brazil. Some parts of Brazil. That looks like Rio. Some parts of Rio. On mobile is only a smallest part of India. India is actually pretty normal. And that looks like a, a block of apartments that I used to live in. I used to live in an apartment block which looked similar to this in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And um, there were 120,000 people living in that um, apartment blocks. It was, uh, I think there were 18 buildings in the same place. Let me see how many there are here. Like there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It was very similar to this. And this is the one thing that a lot of people are don't understand about India. Okay, let me show you some major cities of India. This is Mumbai. This is Delhi. This is Kolkata, this is Gurgaon, this is Noida, this is Hyderabad, this is Pune, this is Bangalore, Bruh. this is Chennai, this Ooh. is Surat, this is... Is that a stadium? This is Hyderabad, this is Pune, this is Bangalore, this is Chennai. 
is that a stadium or 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 actually what it looks like is it looks like a, a parliament i think i don't know what is that guys that is a beautiful structure there this is surat this is Thane, and there are many such modern cities in india beautiful okay let's come to the ruler part of india and i'm pretty sure that according to you the indian villages are looked something like this or this right but actually this is not even 5% part of Indian villages. More than 95% of Indian villages are look something like this. Honestly, I'll be very honest with you. Um, when you say village, I think of Kantara and um, I, 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 I kind of think of um, some of the Malayalam movies that I watched, like uh, Minal Murli and where they live. That's kind of like what I, I think about. Due to the large population of India, the Indian villages are also so big. Look at this. This is not a city or town but it's a village called Madhapur located in the Indian state of Gujarat. After a lot of struggle in 1947, when India got independence from the British Empire, India's economy was only 25 billion dollars. Even in 1991, India's economy was less than the economy of Paris and London. And now India has more economy than the France and the UK. Bro. In 2014, India's economy was ranked 10th in the world. But now in 2022, India has become the fifth largest economy in the world with a huge GDP of 3.5 trillion dollars. In just last eight years, India has overtaken five major economies like Canada, Russia, Italy, Brazil, France, and the UK. And this is they talk about Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. It's really impressive. India is the fastest growing major economy in the world and according to IMF, India is set to surpass Germany and Japan to become the world's third largest economy by 2027. India is already the third largest economy in the world in terms of PPP GDP with a huge GDP of 11.7 trillion dollars wow. and by 2030, India's nominal GDP is expected to be 8.5 trillion dollars but India's potential is much more than this. Bro. After the USA, Russia and China, the Indian military is the fourth most powerful military in the world and with a budget of 76.6 .6 billion dollars, India has the largest defense budget in the world. Over 1.45 million active personnel, over 1.15 million reserve personnel and over 2.52 million paramilitary, the Indian military is the largest military in the world with a total 5.13 million military personnel. This is only counting the people who managed to get in, but the amount of people that try for the army and are not selected, people who want to fight for the army and they're not selected, bro, it, it, yo, yo, if there's a war and India needs to call upon all the men, bro, <laughs> there's a lot of personnel, a lot. India is also a nuclear armed country. The country is holding some of the most powerful nuclear weapons in the world such as Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, Agni-5, Agni-6, K-5 and K-6 which has a massive range of 5000 km to 12000 km. Wow. Even some experts say that India hidden a dangerous weapon called Agni-7 or Surya which has a massive range of 12000 km to 16000 km. It can hit the tip of Brazil. Did you see that? Let me go back. Look at the range. It can hit the tip of Brazil. It can't hit the US, apparently, but it can hit the tip of Brazil. Nice. Even some experts say that. No, not nice. Not nice. <laughs> India hidden a dangerous weapon called Agni-7 or Surya which has a massive range of 12,000 km to 16,000 km. There are only 4 countries in the world that have anti-satellite weapons and India is one of them. India has capability to destroy the communication system of any country in the world by destroying their satellite in this space. The Indian wow. Space Research Organization ISRO, is among the world's top 5 most successful space agencies. ISRO has successfully launched over 386 foreign satellites for 36 different countries including satellite of USA, Germany, France and the UK and successfully launched over 134 Indian origin satellites. 
there are many many misconceptions about India have been born in the world, especially in the West, and that's why many people make the mistake of underestimating India. For example, in 2013, when India announced that India will also send its satellite and rover to Mars, Mom. the New York Times made fun of India like this. But after in just one year in 2014, the New York Times did that? Bro. New York Times. Wow, more like New York Ancient Times. That's a bad joke. But after in just one year in 2014, India became the first country in the world to reach Mars in the first attempt. And just first a few years later, in 2017, India created an incredible world record by launching 104 satellites from a single rocket. And then India made fun of New York Times like this. Karma is a bridge, bro. Nice. <laughs> wow. It's called Sweet Revenge. India is among the world's four countries that have successfully reached Mars and Moon both. Other are USA, Russia and China. And among the five countries that have their own GPS navigation system, other are USA, Russia, China and Japan. Is India right now in the race, the space race? to colonize Mars. I mean, I don't know why they want to colonize Mars, but um, apparently it's a race. Uh, there's a new space race. So is India in it or like, let me know what the situation is. After US and China, India has third highest number of billionaires in the world. As of 2022, India has total 237 billionaires. The wow. Indian stock market is the fastest growing major stock market in the world. Even two out of the world's 10 largest stock exchanges are India. And India is said to be worth the largest stock market by 2030 with a total expected market cap of over 11 trillion dollars. The world's fastest growing startup ecosystem in 2014, India had only 400 startups and as of 2022, India has over 77,000 startups. Which what the heck bro in eight years it i don't even know how many what percentage that is from 400 startups to seventy-seven thousand, almost one lakh which makes india globally which probably is one lakh now because um, we're in 2023 the third largest startup ecosystem in the world after usa and china as well as, India has third highest number of unicorns in the world. The country is home to the 108 unicorns with a total valuation of $341 billion. So a unicorn is a rocket ship, right? It's not like a mythical creature that India also has, <laughs> I suppose. I wouldn't be surprised if India has unicorns because <laughs> everything, every animal and every everything you can find is in India everything india has snow um heat sun everything rain a rain season which is um moon season is it moon season monsoon moon sun what is the name of the rain season let me know in the comments i'm forgetting my um i'm forgetting the the, the vocabulary India is already among the top 5 most industrialized countries with a total output of $900 billion and it is said to be third most industrialized country by 2030 with an expected industrial output of more than $3 trillion. Currently India is the 8th largest exporter in the world. Total export of India was $675 billion in 2021 and the country is on the way to become the third largest exporter in the world by 2030 with an expected export of more than $2 trillion. Bro, tell me, why is India still considered a third world country? I mean, is there like a percentage of um, unemployment that you need to reach to be considered first world country? Um, a percentage of hunger? I think that's how they kind of um, establish um, the, the the whole first world, second world, third world country thing. I think that's how they do it. Um, but it's it's a shame because um, even Brazil, I don't think you can consider Brazil a third world country because um, it's very well developed.
It's not developing, it's developed, you know. Although, of course, there is a lot of inequality. Um, there's a lot of problems with um, some states being, you know, not as rich as other states. So, yeah, we do have that in Brazil, where not every state is as strong as um, the biggest, or, uh, you know. But many of the states are very well developed. Although only two states in Brazil actually have trains and um, the train system and the metro system. Other states don't have that at all, which is insane, if you ask me. Um, but still, it is, it is what it is. There are only two states out of 27 states only two states has a uh, train and metro and subway system the rest only have um, buses i don't know don't ask me india is emerging as factory of the world due to its large skilled workforce Even tata industry in 2021 india overtaken us and became the second most attractive manufacturing destination globally second only to china a lot of um products come written made in china soon we're gonna see a lot saying made in india maybe there are but i think the most known is made in china let me see my control what does it say it doesn't say anything why would it say anything Oh yeah, it says made in China, Shenzhen, China, Shenzhen, yeah, it says that. This is the control to my lights, and it says China. So um, I'm thinking that in the near future, everything will say made in India. Proudly made in India, what about that? Hey, nice slogan. Production. India is the largest producer of tractor, two-wheeler, spice, dairy products, milk, ginger, turmeric, and sugar. Second largest producer of smartphone, steel, cement, vegetable, fruit, rice, wheat, and cotton. Guys, let me know, in India, do you have a smartphone which is competitive to um, Huawei and um, the iPhone and Samsung? Do you have a cheap and competitive smartphone? Let me know in the comments, what is it? I think one of my students who is from India told me uh, the name of one. I don't know the name. Yo Yo Toy Toy? No, that's, I think that sounds a lot like Chinese, but um, it would be interesting. Third the largest producer of electricity, renewable energy, gems, and jewelry. Fourth the largest producer of cars and trucks. The Indian textile industry is the second largest textile industry in the world with a total valuation of over $225 billion. The country is well known as hub of information technology. The annual revenue of Indian IT industry is KGF. more than $200 billion and it is said to be $350 to $400 billion by 2025 and more than $1 trillion by 2030. Bro. We all know um, India is the hub of um, information technology because um, every single call center is either in India or in South Africa. And it's very impressive how efficient the, the training is for the call centers. Sometimes I need to solve something, I call, and either I talk to a South African or an Indian and it's impressive how they can solve problems from um, something that is based on the UK does that make sense like the last time I called someone from the call center I had a problem with UK law and UK um, it, it, it was something about insurance I can't remember what but I called the insurance company and I think the call center was based in India or was it South Africa? I'm not sure, but it's very impressive that they gave me information about UK law. So very well trained, very well, because sometimes you call another country and you say, okay, but here it, it, it's a little bit different. No, they know the law of the UK. And it's, it's funny because um, call centers normally have many clients they work for many companies not only one company and many countries also so for them to have deep knowledge of london uk law 
consumer law is very impressive because um, you have to be very well trained to to work with customer service. That is incredible. But not only that, um, India also has um, a lot of soft software development, um, even um, editing, movie editing, bro. Like um, there are so many things that India uh, has been producing, which is incredible, incredible. Um, many Hollywood movies are turning to India um, to do the VFX and and do other 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 um, other things. Also known as the Parmas editing, for example. The of the world, the country's massive pharmaceutical industry is the source of more than fifty percent of global demand for various vaccines. India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally. Over 40% generic drugs in the USA and over 25% of all medicine in the UK are supplied by India. It is difficult. Bro, I honestly do not understand. There are some uh, racists in the UK and in the US um, and some people who have prejudice and some people who you know um we've seen this many times not i'm not saying everyone but we know it exists a lot of prejudice a lot of discrimination a lot of racism towards india and not only india but brazil and other countries also any anywhere that is not considered first world countries and it's so funny to learn that 40 percent of the medicine comes from india in the united states medicine is basically like your health right you're trusting your health in the hands of the same people that you are discriminating isn't that crazy people are like um so uh, so oblivious to to this type of information um but here in the uk there are some people who are basically you know um they they don't i'm not saying everyone of course um, i'm just saying the my, minority of people who are rude and um dis, uh, act with uh, with discrimination but they forget that everything um maybe their favorite food is 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 an indian dish maybe you know the the medicine that they're taking is coming from india and that is something that i find very ironic you know it is really ironic to think about that because you're trusting your health in um, Indian medicine you know Indian production that is that is the world you know um, teaching you a lesson right there placed by India it is difficult to imagine how world would be able to combat AIDS without India because globally over 80% of antiretroviral drugs which is using to combat AIDS are supplied by India Wow. And it's funny because uh, there's also a cocktail that was made in Brazil, developed by Brazilian. Me Brazilian medicine is the best. Uh, I don't know about India. I've never been to India, but I've been to many other countries and I can guarantee that Brazilian medicine is the best. And we are one of the leading at medicine as well. Um, and uh, a Brazilian developed a cocktail of um, for, for AIDS, for combating AIDS also. So, bro, I'm so happy to see this about India because it reminds me of my country and our accomplishments as well. And I'm always um, supporting the underdog. And I think the world needs to value us more. Because, you know, if, if, like, for example, if I tell you the stories that when I came to the UK and I, I told people, you know, I'm a foreigner and, you know, here's where I studied, people would not value me because, you know, I'm just a foreigner who studied in a third world country. Bro, come on. I was the best student in the class when I was doing college here. The best, honestly, I had the best grades and the best development and my class was full of um, British and I was the only foreigner there. Was I the only one? I think I was the only one. I think, or maybe there was one more, but still, I, I, I stood out there because I was dedicated and I knew uh, my capacity and I, I didn't let anyone put me down because of where I came from and where I studied. And bro, I had good education, come on, you know. Known as the potential superpower, India is the second most populous country in the world and its potential is unlimited. 
first now, right? I think they overtook China. The country has largest young ports in the world. More than 50% of its population below the age of 25 and more than 65% of its population below the age of 35. And this young power is helping India to become an economic superpower like USA, China and European Union. But still, if you think that India is a poor country, then let me tell you that Indian household own the largest amount of gold, 25,000 tons to 30,000 tons, which is worth over $1.5 trillion to $2 trillion, and it is more than the economy of, KGF. of Australia, South Korea, and Italy. Even Indian temple alone have 4,000 to 5,000 tons of gold, which is worth more than $300 billion, and it's more than the economy of New Zealand and Finland. Indians are just love gold and jewelry and that's why India is the biggest consumer of gold, silver, jewelry and gems. Many people in the world, mostly in the west, use HDI and per capita to criticize India. Why are they showing the Royal Opera House? Just a question. But they forget that India is the fastest growing major economy in the world. Currently, India's HDI is considered in the medium category, which is expected to move to the high human development category by 2025. Oh, this is an Amri star, bro. There was a very powerful scene from the movie Sardar Udham, which I reacted to on my channel, about the Amri star massacre. And, bro, that traumatized me for like two weeks because I, I had no idea um, of the massacre that had taken place there and bro to see that you know and not understand why some general would be so cruel is 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 just shocking even today 14 indian state are comes in the high human development category and 13 indian state are very close to achieve this and many indian state have more gdp per capita than the per capita of many European countries. Well, India is 7 to 10 times cheaper than the Europe and America. India nice. is just like China, as China developed itself in the past, today India is developing in the same way. According to recent UN study, the country has lifted more than 415 million people out of poverty since 2005, and according to World Bank, poverty in India has reduced by 12.3% between 2011 to 2019 from 22.5% in 2011 to only 10% in 2019. Wow, you're telling me that only 10% is um, living below the poverty line? Although that is a lot of people, that is more than 140 million people. That is a lot of people. But in terms of percentage, um, it, you know, it means that more than 140 million people or 150 million people left poverty. Um, I also saw that the unemployment rate was 7%, if I'm not mistaken. But then again, 7% of the population of India is, is a lot. It's like 100 million people that are unemployed. And according to recent study of IMF, India has almost wiped out extreme poverty. The percentage of people living in the extreme poverty in India is only 0.8% now. Wow. I can't even imagine what extreme poverty means. Um, probably what they mean is people who have n nothing, nothing to eat, nothing to drink, no water, no access to clean water. Um, I'm, I'm basing that because of um, like Africa. I think there are many villages in, in Africa that they don't have clean water and you know, that's extreme poverty. They have absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. And that is a very sad thing. Because eating, having food is the basic, basic needs of a human being and i think everybody should have access to clean water and food Th that's the basic that's the basic need basic the country is home to the rich culture and spirituality no country in the world as diverse as india there are 20 states and eight union territories in india and they all have their own culture music languages races and food and no country in the world is more colorful than India. Wow. Even India has entire colorful cities like Jaipur, the city of pink, Udaipur, the city of white, Jodhpur, the city of blue, Jaisalmer, the city of gold, and Kanyakumari, the city of seven colors. 
India is whole world itself. India has snow like Greenland, beauty like Switzerland, desert like Arab, wildlife like Africa, beautiful cities like Europe, forest like Brazil, and mountains like Japan. Forests like Brazil. I love it when they talk about Brazil. Like Brazil. In Karnataka. I'm telling you, Karnataka. Bro, uh, there are a lot of similarities with Brazil. But I don't think... I don't know. Does India have rainforests? Probably. Most probably, right? But you guys don't have anacondas, do you? Brazil and mountains like Japan. Even India has a white desert also. I was gonna make a joke. But it's not safe for children who are watching. <laughs> uh, oh, but I have one. Never mind. <laughs> I made the joke anyways. 100,000 of beautiful temples, historical monuments, incredible architecture sites, extremely beautiful hill station like Monali, Nainital. Bro, how I still can't understand like how India has snow. Like, look at that. Bro. Bro, that is white. Look at that. That looks like Belgium. That looks like Switzerland. Monali, Nainital, Simla, and Spitvili. India is just incredible. It is. India is transforming itself as a global economic powerhouse. The country is home to the highest number of under construction mega projects in the world. Project Bharat Mala cost $140 billion. Project Sagar Mala cost $130 billion. Project DMIC cost $100 billion. Project 100 Smart City cost $100 billion. Wow. These are few big projects out of them. As well as the country is spending a massive amount of 1.5 trillion dollar to modernize and develop its infrastructure. Along with this, seeing the growth of countries' urbanization, India is also creating many new and futuristic cities like Gibb City, Dolera SIR, and Amravati Smart City. The Bro, what the? Wow, Gift City. These look beautiful. Amravati Smart City. Look at that. Smart city. The fastest growing major economy, the fastest growing major stock market, the fastest growing startup ecosystem, healthcare, technology, infrastructure, and industries, India is performing excellent. And this is what the world should know about India. That is a very well made, informative video, and that is fantastic. To know that India is growing this fast is just incredible i i wish somebody would make a video about brazil also because it's my country and I, I i would love to see this type of video made about my country and see what developments we are coming up with um and i'm so happy for india and i think the future looks bright um with that said guys let me know what i should react to next Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the channel I was reacting to, the link is in the description. A shout out to World in Details. And good job. You did a great job. See you guys. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right. Play the game.